Hello, today we're taking a look at Soda PDF. Soda PDF Anywhere is a tool that can be used from your browser on a desktop application, and it's an all-in-one PDF software that the idea behind it is you can view, review, and edit PDFs wherever you're at on whatever device easily here. So you can use it to, of course, just view basic PDFs, uh, do some basic editing, take control of files, convert files, and more. And that being said, be sure to check out our link down below as you check out this video to get a special coupon that you can't get anywhere else on Soda PDF. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the app. So here we are in Soda PDF Anywhere. And again, this is the desktop version. They have an online version. They also have versions you can use on mobile. So keeping that in mind, you'll see that this Windows app is designed to house an interface that is very um, you know, user friendly. And, and if you're used to anything like Word or any sort of Microsoft applications, then you'll get uh, the basic gist of this interface. So for example, when you first launch the app here, you can see your homepage. This will show you any recent documents or things that you may have opened recently. So as far as PDFs go, you can see I have a sample file here. And if I choose to open that, you can see it has a tab interface, which is nice because that way you can view multiple PDFs within one window. Now you can see also under the eSign Manager, you have the option to see drafts, templates, if you wanna go ahead and view templates, so on and so forth. You also have quick access here on the left to things like bookmarks uh, that you may create, any other layers and other links that are available within a specific content that you're viewing. Now in this case, I'm looking at the current PDF here and then you can see I can just basically scroll through the PDF. On the bottom, I have my nav bar so I can jump to page to page here very easily. If there's multiple pages, you can jump to the specific page line. You can also change the viewing mode so it supports things like full screen. Um, if you wanna see you know, different page views there and or document view, and you can also go, of course zoom in or zoom out on the content as needed. Now on the right hand side, you have another nav bar for doing things like search. So if you wanna search for a specific word, so let's say education here, you can see it found it right away uh, on the page there. Now you have other options on the right there for a quick access so you can see comments. So if there's any annotations within a document, you can view those there or add them. You can also see if there's any attachments within the PDF, you can view those. And then last but not least, if there's any signatures, you can view all the list of signatures within a specific document. Now, of course, at the top, you have your main toolbar. In this case, we're looking at the view tab because we're just viewing and going through a specific PDF here. So you can also zoom in, zoom out here, change pages here, change the document view, basically the same things that you have on the bottom. But you also have a couple other features here. So for example, you can take a snapshot if you wanna capture a specific part of the document, which is really useful. You also can click on the options just to get general access to the application options here. Uh, and then you can also change the view. If you don't like the tab view, you can go into a single window mode if that's what you prefer. But next to that, you have a couple other tabs, of course. You can do things like, of course, you can cr uh, create, convert, edit, and so on here. So for example, if I was to go to create, you can see you can create PDFs from a blank file. So if you just wanna create a new portable document, you can see I have a brand new PDF document here and I can choose to, of course, edit this. And all you need to do to edit is simply right click on the canvas to get your elements that you wanna add add in all those elements I was talking about things like text so I can say test here I can you know add in notes add links uh, choose to delete certain stuff add images if I want to do that or paste in specific things here um, you can even use optical uh, character recognition OCR so it supports that so again you can go here and then just start crafting a custom PDF file essentially so really simple really easy so not only does it have support for of course editing PDFs but of course creation as well and you can create in a couple ways. I created here completely blank, um, but you can try to create from a clipboard so if you have something copied. So here you can see I have a text document. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste a couple uh, text here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control C. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say I wanna make a PDF file from a clipboard. And you can see it automatically imported that text here and made it into a PDF format. So if you have things like a text uh, within a word editor and something like that, you can go ahead and easily convert that right into a PDF file using uh, Soda PDF Anywhere. You can also do this from a scanner. You can do it from other files like um, a Word file or if you have an image file that you wanna convert to a PDF, all of that can be done through there. Now your convert tab allows you to do the opposite. You can take the PDF and turn it back into another format. So for example, you can do PDF to Word, PDF to Excel, PDF to Image, and so on here. You can see there's a lot of different formats. 
So in this case, let's say I want to make this a Word file. I'll say PDF to Word, and I'll go ahead and convert it here. And then it just asks you where you want to save it. I'll say convert. And just like that, it converted it into a .docx file. That simple, that easy. Now beyond the convert tab, you have the edit tab. So this again allows you to edit the elements. In this case, I have that custom PDF here. So I can do things like I can change the font here. I can change the you know bold or italics, the font size. So all the elements that you would have when you're editing a basic PDF as far as like text goes, um, you can go ahead and adjust all of that through the edit tab. You can do cut, copy, paste. So we can of course, you know, move elements, extract elements, delete elements. You can even choose to split the PDF. So if you have uh, in, in you know a specific, uh, let's say it's one page, you want to go to like two pages or three pages, you can go ahead and split up the PDF. So I can jump to this one, for example, and I can say split PDF here, and it's going to ask me how many files or pages do I want to split into, and then I would choose the number of pages, um, and then I can go ahead and you know hit split. And the way it would do it is it go ahead and splits the pages here. You can of course rotate the PDF. You can do things like adding a background or replacing the current background within a document. You can change the sizes or the margins. So if you're gonna be putting it on like a specific paper or what have you, you can adjust those as needed. You can even choose to extract images, which is a cool feature. So for example here, if there's any images on the page, you can go ahead and choose the page that you're, you know, which page you want it to extract from, select the format that you want the image to be outputted to, and then where you want it to be outputted to. And then you would hit extract and then just like that it's going to go ahead and extract the images and save them and as you can see in this window it found all three pages on that current document and then put them into separate files as designated so it's a really powerful tool that can go ahead and you know of course find the elements within the pdf but you have other options of course that you can edit you can put stuff into the pdf so you can use the insert tab to drop in watermarks or, or links or you can add page numbers if that's what you want to do um, so you have all sorts of ability to add and remove elements from your PDFs as well. Of course, under the review tab, you can do things like if you want to add stamps, uh, sticker notes, uh, really, really great tools for like if you're adding annotations or anything of that nature. Let's say you're sharing it with somebody and you want to like, point out certain stuff here. This is a really great uh, tab to use to go ahead and you know use these tools to you know, point out stuff to a colleague or somebody that you're collaborating uh, with on the PDF. Under the forms, you can create digital forms and options to add into your PDF. So for example, if you want to add things like check boxes or like a radio button, you can go ahead and add these certain elements uh, into the PDF. So maybe you're like doing like a sort of survey or something and you want to add these little elements into the PDF that people can fill out or what have you, then these are the um, form options that you would want to use here. Uh, on the end here of secure and sign, again, really great features for PDFs. If you want to have, let's say it's like, a, it's like a professional document and they have to sign at the bottom, you can add a uh, you know signature line. You can have a document professionally signed within the application here. You can define the purposes here and the, add the certificate. Um, you can create a new certificate or you know signature here. Um, if you want to do that, you can select an image, add the name, and you'll be good to go. Uh, and you also have the ability to add things like password security and permissions. So if you're dealing with a sensitive data within a PDF and you want to secure it, you can add a password to the overall file to find the encryption level. So I can go ahead and say require password to open this document, put in a password here, and that would essentially lock the file once I apply it. So that way anybody else who uses this PDF now needs to know that password. It also has things like optical character recognition. So you can go ahead and have it define and find um, words on a uh, PDF file, even though it's not like a text format, you can see there like editable text format here. Um, you can define the range or have it go through the entire document and have it scan and recognize. Uh, and then you also have things like eSign again to quickly sign off those documents that you need to go ahead and just send or submit to somebody. And last but not least, you have their products and pricing page here if you want to go ahead and get the full version of Soda PDF anywhere. All right, that all said, for more information on Soda PDF Anywhere, if you want to buy it and or try it, don't forget to check out the link down below. And if you're interested, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to save on Soda PDF for a much cheaper price, be sure to use our link down below because this will actually save you. So if you can see here on the home and premium version, you're getting a significant savings compared to what they offer you on the site here. Now, that being said, you also get a lifetime license with the Home Edition if you buy through our link. Whereas with the premium version, if you buy with our link, you'll still get the discount, but this is only for a yearly plan. That all said, don't forget to check out our link down below for more information on Soda PDF Anywhere.